The issue has moved to a different committee. Standing Committee on Access to Information, Privacy and Ethics. With some different faces, but essentially the same arguments. I believe Canadians deserve to hear the full truth. The Liberals are using their power to silence the former Attorney General and the former President of the Treasury Board. Uh, either put up or cover up. And essentially the same result. So we're going to the vote. Okay, Mr. Erskine Smith. No. The Liberals same. voted against opening hearings at the Ethics Committee, not, they say, because they oppose it. Rather, they argue it is premature. Jody Wilson-Raybould is poised to send additional written testimony to the Justice Committee, which is the only committee covered by her waiver of cabinet confidentiality and solicitor client privilege. Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott both say they won't violate their oaths of secrecy, so there's little point in asking them to testify here. They're not going to be able to say anything to our committee. Uh, be because of the oath that they've made and because the waiver doesn't apply. If the Prime Minister gives that permission, all of these debates go away. But the Prime Minister hasn't given that permission and has given every indication he won't. Which brings this to a standoff. Trudeau won't budge while his former ministers say they can't speak freely, but suggest they have much more to tell. This is seven weeks of torture for Liberals. Every single day, the story changes and becomes worse. For days now, a stream of Liberal MPs have argued that Phil Pot and Wilson Raybould can use parliamentary privilege to override their oaths of secrecy and tell their story. I don't think uh, we are, as Liberals, united on this front. But Erskine Smith says they shouldn't be forced to take such extreme measures. If Wilson Raybould's written testimony leaves unanswered questions, he says the Prime Minister should budge then yes, I think to get at the truth, there should be, there should be a broadening of, of that waiver. That's one Liberal's view. The others on the committee either disagree or left without answering the question. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. And one last note. Last night we told you about leaked reports claiming Trudeau and Wilson Raybould had, Raybould had clashed before, specifically that he had questioned her judgment over recommending a conservative Manitoba judge for the Supreme Court two years ago. Well, today, if you were expecting Trudeau to shed more light on the matter, tough luck. The uh, choice of uh, Supreme Court justices and uh, indeed Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of, of Canada uh, is always a decision by the Prime Minister. Um, Canadians can know that they, have, they can have confidence in uh, our institutions, in our judicial system. Uh, and I have uh, no further comment to make on this particular uh, uh, story. But today, the Canadian Bar Association did have something to say about how messy this has become. There is a process to get informed input about the merits of the applicants. It rightly goes on behind closed doors. Breaching confidentiality demeans the selection process and all those who hold the office of judge.